It's called the You may ending. have seen a red the X. Ended what is wrong with the ended movement? I am very grateful because every morning I get to get up and drive to work and work at a company that is making an impact not only with our customers, but making an impact on the world. SAP is the largest uh, enterprise software company in the world. I run the North American Market Unit for Financial Services for our supply chain and procurement business, which is called Ariba. Ariba is unique because we have the world's largest e-commerce network. So think of Facebook, eBay, and Amazon for business, only much bigger. We do almost a trillion dollars worth of commerce. So we have the scale and reach where we are, we're impacting commerce all over the world. In 2012, I was at a conference and they were talking about this end it thing, which turned out that they were bringing awareness to this issue of slavery in the world. This guy started talking about how he wanted to end forced labor in the supply chain. And so I'm thinking, if I could somehow take what he's doing, productize it, and get it onto our network, potentially two million companies could be exposed to these type of ideas. So I got in touch with Justin, and our first conversation was over two hours long. And the reason that it was such a long conversation is because it was, from the very beginning, it was obvious that this was a perfect marriage of what, what he had and what my company had. So Justin had done the research, compiled the data, and had everything that was necessary information-wise for companies to actually figure this out. But he had no mechanism, no platform to deliver it. We decided to engage, we decided to take action, and we started this process of, of a three-year journey where we engaged some of the world's largest global brands that are our customers, and we got input on what do you need? What do you need to be empowered and equipped to help end slavery in the world? And the result of that is the Freedom Tool. In its, in its simplest form, the Freedom Tool is a dashboard. It's a reporting engine that takes a customer's spend data. So what are they buying? What area of the world are they buying it? And how much are they spending? And it loads it into this database. And we are able to report on where they may have problems with slavery, where they may have suppliers that are known offenders, et cetera. So it is a, it is a source of information to empower companies and help them make decisions and take action. So let's just say I'm a textile manufacturer, right? So you're a big brand clothing manufacturer and your consumers are saying, hey, I don't wanna wear clothes that are made by slave labor. And you as the company go, I don't know if slaves are, are in our supply chain or not. So you come to us and say, can you help? We get them on board with the Freedom Tool, we load their data, and then in a very short amount of time, they can absolutely see a dashboard of where their hotspots are and where they're likely to have slavery in their supply chain, and then they can take action based on being aware. I actually do imagine a world without forced labor because the approach has changed. We are now in a position to actually see change happening in the world. And it all started from end it, making me aware of an issue, and then me focusing and thinking about that issue, and then taking action. So let's keep shining a light on slavery.